three. Hi, I'm Joe Guinan, and I'm represented by Jack Scagnetti Talent Agency and Guinan Management. I can be contacted directly at area code 818-339-5061. Again, 818-339-5061. I'm reading for Mike Brown in Western Days and Nights. If you don't mind, I'd like to do a quick monologue. I see you got a bunch of people here. Really quick after I do this, in case there's another part or a role that you see me fit for better than Mike Brown. Okay. Hey. Hey. I need a room. Top floor with a view. Do you have a reservation? And a king size bed. Will you be paying my credit card? No. Cash. How much for the room? Oh, special price, $300. <laughs> Apparently you don't have a reservation, but you in luck. I do have a room for you. Same. Okay, I like to do a, a monologue called Irene. Scene in. Irene, wow. When we first met, man, everything was just so, so beautiful. And all those times we hung out at Denny's, all those great times we had, it was like the world to me. I loved every minute of the time we spent together. And at one time, a couple guys came and sat next to us. You know, I was, I was afraid. I thought maybe you liked him more because he had big arms and a tattoo. And I was actually really frightened. And I kind of got upset as I seen him look at you. And um, uh, I followed him into the bathroom. And I says, don't be looking at my Irene. Do you understand me? I thought we were going to hook it up right there. But he understood. Walked back to the table, sat down with you. He didn't even look. It was just like that. And when I explained to you what I did, wow, you were upset when you got over it. He says, Joe, there's nothing to be afraid about. I love you. And that look, that sensual look, that lovely look was just so absolutely gorgeous. I felt all oh, that tingling into my back, into my spine, all the way down to my toes. I could just feel I love. But I don't understand why that rain, cold night, you asked me to give you a ride. And that it was raining and it was pouring and you had to go to the store no matter what. So I got dressed and we went. We drove and the next thing when I came to, you bloody head was on my lap. And I let you go, and I gave you CPR. And I begged, and I begged, and I begged. I says, please, Lord, don't take my Irene away from me. And what happened? We ended up taking you to the hospital. Five days later, we had to bury you. Irene, God, why did you take my Irene away? Same.